Sir Gregor Clegane was the head of House Clegane, a knightly house from the Westerlands, and the elder brother of Sandor Clegane. When Sandor and Gregor were children, Gregor held his brother's face in a fire for playing with one of his toys without permission, horrifically scarring him. Gregor was a landed knight rather than a full-fledged lord. Gregor was monstrously huge. He was the largest, strongest and most feared man in Westeros. His monstrous strength and size were unmatched, and was one of the most powerful and dangerous people in the Seven Kingdoms. He was feared throughout Westeros with a reputation for ferocity, brutality and anger. He has committed unspeakable acts of violence, such as brutally torturing his victims to death, viciously raping women and murdering children. He was a fiercely loyal retainer and servant of House Lannister, particularly to Lord Tywin. Numerous servants have gone missing at the Clegane Keep over the years, apparently killed by Gregor for minor slights in one of his infamous fits of rage, and their deaths then covered up. Gregor's own father and sister died under dubious circumstances as well, and Sandor thinks that Gregor may have killed them as well. Their sister died when Sandor was too young to remember her well, and their father died years later in what was said to be a hunting accident. At the request of Tywin, Rhaegar Targaryen himself anointed Gregor as a knight, a great honor, even though Gregor was an infamously dishonorable man. During Robert's rebellion, one year after Prince Rhaegar knighted him, Gregor participated in the sack of King's Landing. After entering the Red Keep he brutally killed Rhaegar's two children by Aelia Martell, their daughter Rhinus and baby Aegon. He killed baby Aegon by bashing his head against the wall and then while still covered in the gore from her children proceeded to viciously torture and rape Aelia, after torturing and raping her for several hours, he then horrifically killed her. It is rumored that he killed her by cutting her in half with a single swing of his massive sword, although he later claimed to have smashed her head in with his bare hands. Despite pleas by Ned Stark, neither Gregor nor Tywin were punished by King Robert for the murders of the royal family, leading to a rift in Ned and Robert's friendship.